Good, good. So I'm Sarah Schechter and this is John Goldwater. We're both executive producers and John also is the CEO of Archie Comics. Cool. Uh, how does it feel having these characters you've been in charge of for many, many years and your family as well? Yeah. See them come to life like this. It's actually thrilling, to be honest with you. It's like a dream come true. I mean, tomorrow we're going to be at Hall H with a panel moderated by Kelly Ripa. I mean, it's like a fantasy. You know, if you would have told me this five years ago, I would have said, oh my God, you, you need to be locked up. You'd also probably you know? be like, wait, why is Kelly Ripa on this? Yeah, no, it's, it's true. It's like this whole journey has been this amazing uh, like, like, like thing that's been unfolding in front of us. And uh, I never could have dreamed it. I mean, I dreamed it, I promise you. I did dream it, but now dream is reality. And uh, it feels great, it feels great. What surprised you the most about the way that the characters came to life in this show? I mean, you know, I wouldn't say anything surprised me because I these characters are loved. I love them. So, but what what I love the most is how these incredibly talented cast of actors have made them their own, right? So it's like when we were casting Archie, like that's a really hard character to cast because people have a perception of what that should be. But what KJ has done and made Archie so fully formed is, is actually miraculous, as is everyone in the cast. You know, it's, it's, that's been a great journey. And of course, Roberto and, and Sarah and Greg working with them for me and, and them having a vision of how they should all become alive has also been, I mean, again, dream come true time. Uh, we've seen so many of the Archie characters uh, appear, uh, and there's still a few that have not. Are we going to see any new characters? Oh, I mean, always. I will say Roberto on the back of his phone has a sticker, right? And he <laughs> yeah. has Riverdale sticker and predates the show. Like, he's always had it. And it's this, like, picture of, like, probably, like, 200 characters. <laughs> so he's always thinking about that. Like, every time he looks at his phone, he's... <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of who yet? Though. <laughs> no, I think, but I think like uh, there's always this is the biggest cast I think of all of our shows. So and it only gets bigger, not smaller. So uh, there's plenty of room to see lots of fun people. Yeah. I guess with Sabrina getting her own show, because there was two when she was coming right. this one. I mean, that's what a supernatural element to it. Uh, but there are other characters in that. Uh, is she out of the picture now since she's in a separate show? Or is it I don't know. Never say never. Okay. Obviously, like before on the superhero shows, before we did those crossovers, it yeah. seemed like insane that that would ever happen. <laughs> so it seems a little more insane that characters on different networks would cross over, but like, who knows? You never know. That's what's fun about being in, <laughs> in peak television. Is, uh, anything is possible. And don't forget Riverdale and Greendale are right next to each other. They're so, very, you know, yeah. they're, not, they're not far away. So yeah, you never we know. definitely do. We have some fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> is there somewhere in particular you would like to see the characters go in the next season that you, um, you know, that's something that you would like to see happen with them? I mean, everyone's talking about another musical episode, so that would be yeah. incredibly fun. <laughs> and, you know, just, I want to see the evolution of Riverdale, which is what I think you're going to see in season three. How Riverdale as a town evolved. And, you know, that's where these characters grew up in. The parents grew up there. The kids live there. Their school is there. I mean, that is going to be part of season three, is how the evolution of Riverdale as a town. So that's yeah. going to be a, a fun journey. And I would say for me, you know, I grew up really loving John Hughes movies and um, anything that sort of speaks to that, I love and I'm there for. And also, you know, like especially sort of Luke Perry and, and Machen, I grew up watching, like when I was in high school, they were my like teen idols. And, um, and so I'm excited to see more of, to learn more about when they were in high school. I think as you get older, you start to realize your parents were once young. <laughs> and uh, so I'm looking forward to anything else, any, and, and Skeet also, obviously. Like, so anything that kind of allows, and Robin Gibbon, I mean, Molly Ringwald, like that, this is on purpose. It's not an accident that uh, these were all the people on my TV um, and Roberto's TV. So, but yeah, I think that'll be really fun. Last question. Speaking of that, would we be able to see maybe a possible flashback of their teen years? I mean, that, that would be my dream. We love flashbacks in Riverdale. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Guys. Sure. Yeah.